Oh my God, you guys, I had to hop on here. I haven't gotten ready to go yet. I have Weight Watchers in like an hour, but I just had a package come in and it's from KKW. I ordered the new contour palette on Tuesday and it's already here on Friday. So excuse my jib. This is a bun that came out from yesterday. I literally have just been laying on the couch with both my cats. I'm covered in cat fur, no bra, you know, but I got a package, dude. Oh, so I wanted to open it with you guys and I'm going to do a video on it too this weekend. I wanted to show you, I know it's really bad lighting in here, but I like the like rose gold packaging paper. It's super cute. And... Oh my God. See if there's anything else there's a lot of stuff in here man um let's go to the beauty room because it has better light <laughs> yeah, as you can see i look fucking off i haven't even brushed my damn teeth yet but you know okay wow let's see cat fur all over me you know this is real life though guys so anyways kkw beauty Super cute. I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, look. My nails. I'm really into the nudes. Oh, hey, Amber. You want to see? Hi, girl. Hi. What you doing? You sniffing my feet? What you doing? Hi. You want to see the makeup? Do you guys just love these of my cat? I'm gonna show you makeup and then my cat comes in so you get to see Amber Lights. She's actually named after Amber Lights the eyeshadow. Say hi, Amber. Hi. She a girly girl too. You think this is like, I think she thinks it's treats. She can hear like the crunching of the bag. Trying to do this with one hand, guys. Sorry. Fuck. Merp. Wow. Oh, I think I need to cut this shit. Oh no. Look at the brush is kind of. Look at. See how it's kind of split? That's kind of fucked up. Oh my god. Look. Douglas Fur's here too. Look. You think it's treats? You guys think it's treats? Don't mind the, the closet. It really needs to be organized, like real, real bad. Can I open this? Oh my God, I'm looking for scissors. So this is kinda like my first impressions, huh? Cause I don't really do first impressions. I like to actually use it when I do the video. Have it on already. You're so interested. Look at this guy, he's so interested. Look at these kitties. What you guys doing? Huh? I think they really think this is treat jib. Shit, dude. I know I was gonna get up, well, I was up early. I was gonna get up and like shower and do my hair and kind of look kind of presentable, but then both cats got on me and I can't say no to my cat, so I've just been laying on the couch watching YouTube videos. So this is the brush. I'm really pissed that it's like split though. Like it got, yeah, it's dented. Dude, I mean, hopefully I can, all right, it doesn't seem to be that fucked up. It feels nice, but the reviews I've been watching already, I just don't, I don't know. And then it just seems big for like a highlighter and then, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I'm still gonna try it. The brushes are really soft. I don't know. I think it's really cute. Really cute. Pretty color. Let's open the palette. It's really heavy, you guys. 
I probably should have gotten myself a little cuter before opening this, but I was so excited. Look at this. Oh my God. But hey, you know, real life, you know? Fuck, dude. How does this open? Okay, so it's in a box. You can really see it on my chins this way. All right, so I just took it out of this box. This is the palette. Let's open her up. I got light too because I'm real, real light. Oh, it's a nice big mirror. Nice, right? It's really good sizes. I really love the big mirror. It smells chemically, TBH. Just put my nose in all four. Yeah, it smells kind of chemically, but the colors are really pretty. I'm so excited. I kind of wish I would have gotten ready now because I'd like to put this on today. I don't have enough time. What time is it? Yeah, I don't have enough time, dude. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm just off today it's kind of like overcast as you can see like the lighting is not good but I love overcast days um yeah I'm gonna be vlogging today I don't know what I'm gonna be doing Weight Watchers for sure so I'm gonna vlog like before and after and I don't know if I'm gonna film videos or if I'm gonna see my sister I don't really know but I mean this just came and I had to show you guys so anyways um I will check in with you guys later bye Hey guys, I just got to Weight Watchers. I still look like balls, <laughs> clearly. Um, I don't have time to do anything, so I just changed. There's no cat fur, or minimal cat fur on this. Redid my hair up, no makeup. I don't even have skincare on right now, I'm so bad. But anyways, um, I just wanted to check in with you before I go in. I had an okay week, not great, not bad like last week, so I'm not sure. But I never, I never know. Before I weigh in, I honestly never know how it's going to go. But, um, yeah. So, I gotta get in there. I gotta weigh in before the meeting starts. I think it's starting, uh, seven minutes. So, yeah, I gotta get the rock in there. But, um, yeah. I feel okay. I feel hopeful. So, we will see. I will check in after. Alright, bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in. I actually have been out of Weight Watchers for a little bit now because I ended up uh, going to lunch with a couple of our, uh, a couple other members. It was so fun. We went down the street to this faux restaurant and got salad and split some spring rolls and it was just, it was so nice. That's why it's, it, it's just one of the many reasons why you should go to the meetings just because you get that support and you meet new friends. And so we just had a lovely lunch. I wish I looked better today, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so I just had a lovely salad and I wanted to share the topic of today. I'm going to go home now. So this week is get happy. So that is the weekly topic. Um, yeah, we were just kind of going through talking about, you know, what makes us happy or things you can do when you're not feeling happy. Um, trying to think of what else I could say about that um I mean obviously you want to try and stay positive and when you're more positive you you know you're more successful um I did end up talking in the meeting how like the summer has been kind of not good for me um I've just been working I've been really tired and I've been staying the same weight for quite a while for the whole summer but oh and I did lose a pound this week which was really good I'm finally I finally weigh less than I ever have, and this is the first time I've really lost weight this whole summer, so things are looking up. And I ate well for lunch, and I am gonna have a sandwich for dinner, and yeah, I'm probably gonna check in a little bit later. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing much, I'm just gonna be at home, but I just kinda wanted to hop on here and show you the weekly and let you know how I did. So I'm down a pound, so now I'm at 58 pounds total, so. My first goal is 80 and that will that is the weight I would be to be a lifetime member and it's the highest weight for uh, a safe range for my height so I'm 22 pounds away from that um, 
so excited. So I'm going to keep this up for sure. So anyways, guys, I'm going to get home now and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, it's the next day. It is Saturday and I just wanted to hop on here really quick because I should be at work today and this is my first day not working on a Saturday because I recently quit one of my jobs, which I'm super excited about, but then I figured I might as well jump on here and tell you what happened on my last day because I kind of want people's opinion because I did something that I never thought I would do. So anyways, I want to excuse the shit storm of my closet behind me. It's really bad and I really need to organize it. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup right now, but I just wanted to hop on here really quick. Um, <laughs> so last Saturday was my last day at one of my jobs and it was in an office, a doctor office. I won't like go into too much detail. Well, dental office, who the fuck cares? And doc the doctor's super cool. His wife helps out up front. I've been there two years. She comes in on the last day acting super passive aggressive and super, super mad at me, you know, just really rude and just telling me to do everything and it was really uncomfortable. So that sucked already. And then uh, a little bit before my lunch, she's like, oh, um, after your lunch or before you go, I need for you to post your job on Craigslist, which is already like whatever like come on at but then get this at six more dollars an hour than what I was making six more six more dollars an hour than what was than what I was making and I had recently asked for a raise they said they couldn't afford it then and but if I waited a few months I could get a dollar raise because they just couldn't afford it. You know, they're just a general practice, they're not a specialist, blah, blah, blah. That was part of the reason why I wanted to leave because like I could be making more or I could be at home. <laughs> so um, I almost like blew up on her and walked, I almost, I, I, want, like, I was like enraged when she told me that. I, but I just kind of laughed and was like, <laughs> all right, and then I was just really pissed. So when it came down to my lunch, I was, you know, calling my husband, calling my friends and telling them what happened. They're like, you need to go. Like, don't go back there. And I honestly didn't want to. It was super uncomfortable. She was going to be there. And I just thought it was super fucked that I would be posting my own job at $6 more an hour and they wouldn't give me a raise. <sighs> Sorry. I just had Togo's. <clears throat> So needless to say, I texted the doctor that I was sick. I mean, I was sick. I felt sick to my stomach. I was really pissed and upset. And I'm like, you know, I'm not coming back. I don't feel good. And I also mentioned, I'm like, and I don't like how your wife was treating me. Cause um, yeah, I'm sure she told him. He wouldn't do that, but <laughs> clearly she would and she did. What a cruel, cruel woman. Like I really loved them a lot and I just, I can't believe it. And I, I want your guys' opinions. Like, what do you, would you have done the same thing? I mean, part of me feels kind of guilty because, you know, I ghosted them on my lunch. Well, kind of, I texted, but <clears throat> I just, I could not go back in there and post my job. It's so much more an hour when they wouldn't do that for me. So if you guys are watching this, please comment down below and let me know what you would have done if you think I did the right thing. Cause I'm like, I'm not conflicted about it, but I don't know. I just, I, I, it makes me, makes me feel more at ease hearing other people say that they would have done it or actually everyone said they would have done it. But if you wouldn't have, just let me know how you would have handled it. I don't know, but it's pretty exciting being off right now because I should be at the office, but from now on Saturdays, I'm going to be chilling. I'm actually doing makeup right now because I'm going to film a few videos and uh, one of my neighbors downstairs, I think she's having some people over and invited me to go down there, so maybe I'll do that. I don't know, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. So I'm gonna go back to my makeup, finish that, and start filming before the sun gets fucked. And I might hop back on here today, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. But anyways, thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you later, bye.